William Bendix in The Life of Riley. With Marjorie Reynolds as Peg, Tom DeAndre as Gillis, Eugene Sanders as Bath, and Wesley Morgan as Junior. Produced by Tom McKnight. And directed by Abby Berlin. One of the first things a good host in Los Angeles does when he has visitors from out of town is to show them the sights. The Los Angeles Coliseum, the Griffith Park Planetarium, and other places of interest. And since Chester A. Riley wants to be a good host, he's going all out to entertain his parents, Mike and Martha Riley from Brooklyn. At the moment, Riley is showing them the famous Hollywood Bowl. And now, after two weeks of this mad world, Riley realizes the time is near when his parents will be leaving for home. Riley, you mustn't take this so hard. I don't want my mom and papa to leave. Oh, Riley, stop it. I can't help it, Peg. I don't want my papa to go home. But believe me, dear, your father will be much happier in Brooklyn among his old friends. His old friends don't mean as much to him as I do. After all, Papa's known me all my life. But he acts as if he's anxious to leave. Oh, that's just a bluff. The very thought of leaving is tearing his poor heart out. <laughs> Sooner I get home to Brooklyn, the better. Michael, Peg and Chester have shown us a wonderful time. What's wrong with wanting to go home? Oh, you could be a little more tactful. What's wrong with packing my suitcase? Three days before the train leaves. Oh, now look, Riley, their minds are made up, so why don't you try to make their last few days here as pleasant as possible? I'll try, Peg. But knowing that my poor Papa's heart is breaking, because he doesn't oh, really want to... Oh, I'm sure it isn't as bad as you make out. Now, you go in there, and don't let on to your dad that you're so upset about his leaving. Okay, Peg. I'll be smiling all over my outside. But I'll be flooded with tears inside. Now, Mike, you go in there and tell Chester you've had a wonderful time and that you're sorry you have to leave. Oh, no, mother. And that you wish you could stay longer in California and that you just hate to go back to Brooklyn. I'd rather have a subway door closing me than say a thing like that. Now you march right in there and do as I say. Okay, but if this guy gets back to Brooklyn, I'll be drummed out of Ebbets Field. I'm just asking you to be diplomatic. You're just asking me to lie in me teeth. Oh, now you go on. All right. All right. Oh, hi, Papa. Yeah. Something wrong? No, you kidding. Michael! I have had a wonderful time. You have? I do not want to leave California. You don't? I do not want to go back to Brooklyn. <laughs> Please, Papa, put yourself together. Will you cut it out? Don't try to talk, Papa. I can't stand to see a grown man break down. <laughs> Where's your mother, Babsy? She's gone shopping. What's the matter? You look upset. It's your grandfather. He doesn't want to go home. I thought he was anxious to go. I just got through talking to him, Babsy. It was terrible. The poor old fellow went all to pieces. Oh, what a shame. Can't we have him stay a little longer? I'm going to do better than that. They're going to live right here from now on. All of us in this small house? Why not? Well, it's bound to be a little difficult with two families living under the same roof. Maybe we can add another roof. Gosh, I don't know. I owe it to my papa. He's worked hard all his life. Now it's time he took things easy. That's very thoughtful of you, Dad. I'm going to see to it that he spends the rest of his days just laying around on a patio. Patio? What patio? Well, if I'm good enough to let him loaf around all day, the least he can do is build me a patio. <laughs> I don't think he'd be happy living with us all the time, Dan. Why not? Well, I was talking to Grandma, and she enjoys visiting, but they like living alone better. 
Grandma said that? Now, you know how old people are. They become set in their ways. Well, I, I don't want to let them go back to Brooklyn if they don't want to go. Babsy. Babsy, I got a great idea. Why can't I get them a little place of their own out here? Oh, that'd be perfect. <sighs> if you could afford it. I got a few bucks saved up. Now if I could just find one friend. Hi there. Hi, friend. Hi, Wanda. Hi, Mr. Riley. Hi, Babs. Hello, Mr. Benny. Hey, excuse me. Uh, Mr. Riley, the reason I'll drop by... Come on over here and sit down. Here. That's it. Make yourself comfortable. Well, I'll go here. All right. Here, here. Right. here. I'll help yourself to the cookies. Oh, thank you, Mr. Riley. Would you like a slug of milk to slosh them down with, huh? Uh, no, see, I'm in kind of a hurry, Mr. Riley. Waldo. Waldo. If a pal was in trouble and needed some extra money, the best place for him to go would be to another pal, right? Right. And if that pal was any kind of a pal, he'd lend his pal the money, right? Certainly. Then you hardly agree that one pal should lend another pal money, right? Indubitably. What do you say? Uh, by all means. Good. Because the reason I dropped by was to borrow ten dollars from you, old pal. <laughs> oh, thanks, Paul. Well, that's back, Jun Junior. <laughs> well, I, I heard you coming up the street. I figured that you might be hungry. Here, have a cookie. Huh? You, uh, you been out playing, son? Huh? You know. You've been using that new bike I gave you, huh? Sure. And them new roller skates that I gave you, huh? Pop, why don't you ask Bab? She gets more allowance than I do. <laughs> Mr. Riley, what's the urgency? Why do you leave money all of a sudden? Because I want to see that my mama and papa are taken care of. They've got... Hey. Hey, this is it. Houses at big savings. Name your own terms. Burt Realty Company. You're doing this for Grandma and Grandpa? And why not? That's something every son should do. Look after his parents when they get up in years. They should? Yes. And don't forget I'm giving you plenty of notice, Junior. <laughs> Yeah, I saw you read here in the paper, and I'm looking for a little place for my folks. Well, fine, fine. I've got a little gem right here. For a quick sale, two burned den, ink, bone, tile, kitten, bed, two part gone with Zachary's turn. Well, what do you think? That sounds all right, but I think my folks would rather live in this country. <laughs> you have quite a sense of humor, Mr. Uh, Riley. Riley, how do you do, Mr. Riley? My name is Frank Burke. Right. Now, let's see, you're looking for a place for the folks, eh? Uh, how much did you intend to spend? Well, the aunt says that I could name my own terms. Well, that's right, absolutely right. We'll accept any reasonable offer. How about a hundred bucks down and ten bucks a month? <laughs> Mr. Riley, we said reasonable, not ridiculous. Well, I couldn't go much higher than that. Well, now, let's see. We should be able to find something for you. We never let a customer walk away without... Uh, oh, yes, yes. Here's a place right here you might be able to handle. Cost little old a home and pretty far out. Oh, uh, well, my folks didn't figure on living on a farm. Well, this is not exactly a farm, Mr. Riley. But you've given me an idea. How about putting the folks on a nice little chicken ranch? Oh, uh, my father don't know nothing about taking care of chickens. Well, all he'd have to do is feed them and then collect the eggs. There's really nothing to it. Well, that sounds pretty good. The chickens do all the work. Why, of course, and it would be ideal for the old folks. Now, uh, the owner is very anxious for a quick sale, and the chickens go with the property. Hey... That, 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 that sounds good. I, I think that's just a place for Mom and Papa, but I don't know whether I can handle it. Well, now, if, uh, if you can raise a small down payment, the chickens will pay off the balance before you know it. They will? Why, of course. Just step inside and we'll close the deal, Mr. Riley. I never thought I'd be going in partners with a bunch of chickens. Ah, ah. Hello, airport information. Well, what's the earliest plane you got going to Brooklyn on Friday? 4.30 a.m. And you got one going earlier than that? <laughs> well, okay. Make reservation for two. Yeah, Mr. and Mrs. Mike Riley. With... Look, you little kid, I'm making reservation to go home. <laughs> no, you're not going to go home. 
What? I'm not going to go home. No. I just bought you and Mama a little chicken ranch in the valley. A chicken ranch? Yep. My home is in Brooklyn. No, no. No, no. And I took care of that, too. Right after I bought the chicken ranch, I wired your landlord and gave up your Brooklyn apartment. <laughs> you gave up my Brooklyn apartment. What a revolting development this is. <laughs> Wait a minute, Papa. Don't lose your temper. Mommy, he's turning purple again.